Hungary's capital Budapest has long since been one of my absolute favorite weekend destinations. It's cheap, impressive, and fun, crammed with beautiful structures and small enough to easily navigate. You don't have to plan a thing, just book that ticket and surrender yourself to the city. It's gonna have a lot of crazy stuff in store for you. I'm basically telling you to skip this video and be spontaneous, but you just won't listen. And to get this one out of the way, yes, the party is open. It's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> Let's get back to that later. Kick off your trip with the most Hungarian and probably most unhealthy breakfast possible. Langos. We're talking bread boiled in fat, topped with cheese and some more fat. Mmm. Really nice with bacon actually. Better than I expected. <laughs> and the expectations were high. <laughs> Next up, get your shoes on and head over to the historical half of the city, Buda. Come to think about it, just use the tram. It's culture. The Buddha side offers the best view of that outrageous huge parliament and is absolutely full of amazing architecture. Just steer into any of the small streets heading up that hill. This is exhausting and you might find something like this. An excellent opportunity to take those wedding photos. And the view. Yeah, that's pretty much half of the city you're seeing there. Enough of old stuff for today. Let's enjoy Budapest's new pride and joy. Every city with self-respect needs a Ferris wheel. Can you really afford 10 euros for a ride? Of course I can. <laughs> ride right is kind of short, so make that camera work. Was it funny, boys? Oh, so much fun. Best part? I would say the view. <laughs> the view? I would say going round. Huh? And oh. around. And around. I would say seeing Philippe's happy face. Look at that Dude. face. <laughs> <laughs> this is one happy man. District 7 is where a large part of the night action takes place, making it the perfect spot to stay and you will get a lot for $120. Sun's down, let's get this started. Any of the various outdoor gardens will do for some chill, quiet conversation. Oh wait, you wanted some more action, right? Dodge the most obvious option. This bar passage is mostly for tourists and suckers. Start with style at one of the most popular rooftop bars. That is a quite decent view. Now would also be a good time to grab some dinner, with drinks obviously. District 7 also doubles as the old Jewish quarter, 
make sure to try the hummus. So, ruin bars are a huge thing in Budapest, and it doesn't get better than this. Shimpla is simply a big collection of bars in a huge maze of stairs and doors. Half of the fun is just exploring this madhouse. Someone put long hours into the decoration of this place. This drink is incredibly strong, and that's how we want it here in Budapest. We like it strong! Table this one. The old grumpy lizards. Instant is a famous club, but not worth an hour in line. Wanna dance? Try your luck right around the corner. Yeah, this place gets crazy. until security ruins all the fun. Day two, it's gonna be a rough morning. Put sights in on hold and cool down at Margaret Island between Buda and Pest, primarily known for its many water activities. It's uh, 34 degrees warm and uh, Philip is buying cotton candy. He's buying cotton candy. Little bubble gum taste too. Really good. You should buy one, Rika. I will not yeah, buy you one. You should. <laughs> it's been literally two minutes since he last had a cotton candy. It's happening again. While in that sugar rush, try not to get lost on the many winding paths. So, not surprisingly, we took the wrong way. If you're going to the bath, don't go along the canal. Luckily, we found some slush puppy and our friend here is giving us vodka in it. Just brought... <sighs> Hot summer days, the water park is the main social hub for locals, even if they don't plan to swim. A lot of people encounter the same problem when ordering a pina colada. What to do with all the extra foam in here? Look, it's just a lot of foam. It's an excellent moisturizer. Just be sure you have plenty of foam. <laughs> but you gotta at least try those slides, right? Bringing the foam here, it might be a bad idea. Let's do this. Are you nervous, Philip? <laughs> Not at all. Alfred, nervous? Yes, very. A slush puppy with vodka. That would be about six dollars. All freshened up, put some time into exploring the pest side as well. Asian food is also huge in Budapest. Try the ramen. Budapest is a true cocktail paradise. And with prizes like these, you can afford to go all in. Whoa! Pineapple story. Thank you, good sir. I will have that. This place is so good, you might forget you're actually going out dancing. 
to be safe, set the alarm. Is that what you're going for, Flip? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? I think this is for me. The threesome with a with a Zela. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, still want to go out party? Not ready to call it a night yet? Okay. Heaven. It's pretty much what it sounds like. As long as you like really good electronical music. This is all I'm giving you. The rest is up to you. Having fun in Budapest simply can't go wrong. Enjoy that hangover and make sure to watch my other stuff. Take care.